Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. Today is episode number 170. And it is March. I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> it is April. In my video yesterday about the bags, and today apparently, I keep saying March. But, you know, it, it was just March. You gotta give me a break. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, I'm a very busy person with two kids, and one of them being a small baby. My brain is... Um, frazzled most of the time so I do say the wrong words <laughs> it is April so yeah even though I just said March again <laughs> anyways it is April uh 5th <laughs> so yeah let's get into it I have a few finished objects and a few whips and it's stuff you've already seen before because <laughs> I've been so busy I haven't been able to do a lot of crocheting and the one whip that I'm working on it seems like it's taking forever to get done <laughs> <laughs> so I have two finished objects I'm going to share them real quick. You would have already seen them if you watched my other videos because uh, they're both for national holidays. So the first one was for National Tater Day. <laughs> that was on April the 2nd. Nope, that's a lie. That was the peanut butter and jelly one. It was last week sometime. I can't remember now. But it is Mr. Potato Head Keychain. And it's free pattern by Natalina Craft. So here he is. He's so cute. He turned out so cute. Uh, I used an F hook for him, which is a 3.75 millimeter, and I used worsted weight uh, scrap yarns. I'm pretty sure it's all Red Heart Super Saver except his ears. They're um, Premier Just Yarn from the Dollar Tree. The rest of it's Red Heart, uh, white, black, cherry red, blue, and I think this is Cafe Latte. Um, yeah, and then I used a little safety eyes. I think those are six millimeter ones can't remember <laughs> off the top of my head but uh yes yeah, so this was national tater day last week <laughs> he was a really easy make he does have a lot of sewing so if you don't like sewing i would not suggest this pattern for you because all his pieces are sewn on <laughs> um but yeah other than that he was pretty pretty easy little pattern he worked up super fast i made him in one setting and uh he's just a cute little guy i think the pattern calls for an e hook and i just happened to have an elf hook laying next to me the day that i was making this so i just made him with an elf hook but it's a free pattern and it's super cute and you could probably easily easily alter its facial features and stuff and the colors to make it a mrs potato head if you wanted to um you make the hat in like a pink color or something and not do mustache <laughs> and uh yeah i don't know make the pants a different color whatever <laughs> so that was that one and the next one was the april 2nd one which is peanut butter and jelly and this is another free pattern by uh all of it stringy ding ding and i did alter it a little bit but here they are peanut butter jelly peanut butter jelly <laughs> but uh my my bread looks like it's whole wheat bread maybe because i used a darker color um uh, because i don't eat white bread i don't even eat whole wheat bread either i barely i rarely eat bread because i don't like bread sandwich bread uh when i do it i eat honey wheat but i mostly when i eat sandwiches i make rolls like with tortillas and i use really thin tortillas they're actually the carb balance ones what are they called I can't remember the name of it, but they're, they're only 50 calories is why I like them because they're low calories, but also they're really thin because I'm not a big fan of bread. When I do eat bread, I smush it down really flat because I just don't like it, but that's not counting like rolls and things because I eat my weight in a good roll <laughs> and like breadsticks and things. It's just sandwich bread that I'm not a fan of. Anyways, back to the pattern. <laughs> so again, I use like scrap yarns. So this is Red Heart Super Saver Buff and Cafe Latte. This is, I love this yarn, Toasted Almond, I think. And this is uh, um, Red Heart Light Raspberry. And it actually wasn't a scrap. It's from a skein that I have that someone gifted me. It's like an old skein. You can tell by the label it's older. But it's such a pretty color. So it's like a strawberry jelly and my peanut butter. And then the mouths are just little lines of Red Heart Black and the little safety eyes. They're, they're about um, probably six millimeters. <laughs> it's like the common size. And this is just a little scrap of pink for the little cheeks there on uh, the girl one. <laughs> But I just think that's so cute. I did, um, I followed her pattern, except I did use a smaller hook. She called for a bigger hook, I think. And I used a, uh, an E-hook, which is a 3.5 millimeter. This is all worsted weight yarn. And I didn't do the arms and legs. And I did crochet my bread pieces together. Because it's just easier than, uh, sewing. <laughs> uh, I crochet stuff together whenever I can, just because it's easier. It sometimes makes like a ridge, like on blankets, but I don't care because it makes it easier. <laughs> and I did not stuff them. Hers is stuffed a little. I, I thought it was fine, not stuffed. Um, but yeah, 
I think they're so cute. <laughs> but that's my two finished objects, amigurumis, because I can make amigurumis really fast, and I like making them for the national holidays. I got some more coming up. Actually, one's coming up on... Let me look at my notes. March's notes. Let me skip to April. I pre-plan most of my videos. I don't pre-record them, but, like, I pre-plan them. I'm going to, like, ooh, <laughs> show right there. That's my video list for April. And sometimes I don't do all of them. But I do have one planned for pretty much every single day. And hopefully I do get around to doing them. And some days I don't. But the next um, national holiday video is on the 8th of April. And then I got one on the 17th, which is also Easter. <laughs> I realized that after I wrote it down. But And then there's uh, the 22nd, which is Earth Day. And then the 29th, which is Arbor Day. So apparently I'm doing all of them on holidays. <laughs> but um, yeah, and also the 16th is National Husband Appreciation Day. So uh, National Wife's Appreciation Day was recently i can't remember when it was but devin bought me some flowers and yarn and stuff that day it was pretty recently i think i was still pregnant so maybe it was in november or december i can't remember <laughs> but i'm pretty sure i was still pregnant i can't remember but the 16th of april is husband's appreciation day so there you go you can go get your husband something uh, if he deserves it of course <laughs> anyways i'm just joking but um yeah so i have two whips one whip is a new whip and i showed it in my last uh whip wednesday video and i have not worked on it since then it's been sitting on my table in the living room not worked on because i'm trying to finish my shrug but anyways i will show this it's red red heart um oh my ears all tangled up red heart um cherry red there you go i got it and this is it so far <laughs> it's gonna be a bucket hat that looks like a strawberry which i'm super excited about there's actually a strawberry festival kind of near us it's like an hour away everything's <laughs> we live out in the middle of nowhere so everything's like an hour plus away from us but it it's uh in is it bell buckle that's having that or, no it's war, war trace war trace tennessee which is kind of towards i think it's towards chattanooga um yeah i think we drive through there when we go to the aquarium and stuff Anyways, <laughs> they're having a strawberry festival the weekend after my birthday, which is May 7th is my birthday. Jesse's is May 1st. Uh, mine's a week later. Mother's Day is the day after my birthday this year. So it's like a weekend because it's Saturday and Sunday, but that's fine. Anyways, this strawberry festival is like the week after that, I believe. Um, and I'd love to go, but that, uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Devin's supposed to work at the weekend of my birthday, so he will be off that next weekend. So maybe I'll go because I'll have this hat, hopefully, <laughs> finished. And plus I have my strawberry beret hat, which is in here somewhere things in the closet that I can like wear you know I can interchange them if I wanted to but um yeah anyways that's my strawberry beret this is a paid for pattern nope it's not a beret it's a bucket hat I lied it's called strawberry bucket hat by Sophie Paradis Art and it's a paid for pattern that I got off of Etsy I'm using a elf hook which is a 3.75 millimeter and this is worst of eight uh yarn <laughs> i started it on the 25th of march and it's taken forever to go because i'm trying to finish my shrug which i'll show you next i go all the way back to february for its notes it is called the stonewash shrug which i um i've showed you guys already a bunch of times i got the body done like here it is i'm not gonna hold it up because you won't be able to see nothing but <laughs> i'm still working on the collar but the yarn for the body is red heart um stripes zebra and the cuffs and the collar is a discontinued yarn called Red Heart um, Glowworm, which I love. I wish it wasn't discontinued. But, uh, so the collar is right here. I'm getting it done. It's about the half the size it needs to be. Basically, it looks like a big old scarf right now. And I just finished up right here the first skein of Glowworm between the collar and the cuffs. And plus, uh, I had pulled a little bit out of that for Amigurumi that I made. Oh, it was the cauldron from... Um, Michelle Strada's pattern, her little cauldron, I made it when I was still pregnant. It was a stitch library. But I got my last skein here of discontinued on clearance. It was $1.50 when someone, whoever bought it. <laughs> and then they gifted it to me. And it's my last one. I'm going to miss it so much. But I'm going to use the rest of it to make the rest of this collar. And then I should have a little bit left that I can put into something. I'll probably save it for like a Halloween themed um, amigurumi. Uh, I actually have one that I want to make that, that would go good with. But this is about... A little over half the size it needs to be so i need to crochet it about you know about this much more <laughs> and then sew it onto the whole outside part of my shrug which is you know the opening where your body goes in <laughs> 
and then it'll be done finally it's just taking me forever and a day to do this because it is just double crochet back and forth and it's taking forever i wish i had done half double crochets because i can do those so much quicker and it would have flew by a lot quicker but they're just double crochets back and forth in the back loop only over and over again but this is a free pattern called the stonewash shrug by make and do crew and i'm using an eye hook which is a 5.5 millimeter and all this yarn that i'm using for it is worsted weight I already told you the colors. I started this on February 7th. It's been almost two months since I started that. And that's taken me forever to finish. And it's because this darn color is taking forever. But I already have another um, wearable that I want to start. I already got the yarn pulled out and everything. Uh, I'm just waiting until I get this shrug done. And then I'm going to start it. And it's going to be a stitcher stash. Because I, I pulled the yarn out of my stash to make it with. So I'm just waiting to get this done and then I can start it. And I'm excited about that because I really want to make it. It's a cute pattern, but I'm going to keep it a secret until I get it done. So yeah, that is my whips and my finished objects for episode 170. So yeah, I'm excited. I got, like I said, I got some videos planned out for April, June permitting <laughs> that she allows me to record. She's kind of been grumpy. Got, let's see here. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I'll be doing a walk, watch your work on Wednesday. And then I have a few other videos planned this week. I have a few empty days, but those are usual days that I do random videos. Like hauls or mail hauls, things like that. Um, vlogs, things like that is what I fill in with the empty days. And, uh, yeah. Nothing in scouting is happening this week in our family <laughs> that I can think of. I do have a bag update coming out today, later today. I'm not even sure what time it is. I think it's three something. So, uh, it comes out at five. Um yeah i guess that's it nothing cool it's raining so we didn't get to do anything today devin's gotta work so i did check the mail today and we went by the dollar tree or not dollar tree dollar general um yeah i guess that's it <laughs> nothing exciting here devin's got the baby right now i had her in the bedroom today she's real fussy she's she's colicky we looked it up you know and all her things she's doing is colicky jesse was never that and i've always heard that you know if you have an easy baby the first time the second baby is really hard and i believe that because june is so much different than jesse but um so she doesn't sleep good on her own unless there's pressure on her stomach which i can't leave her with pressure on her stomach by herself because she could smother so i always sit with her or i put her in the swing where i'm sitting near her and can keep an eye on her because she likes usually like if i put her on me she likes being stomach down with pressure like, if she saw one of her big fits, I'll wrap her up in a blanket and kind of hold her, not squeeze her, but hold her tight to me, and she calms down. So, she likes the pressure. I think she'll benefit from a weighted blanket when she gets older. Uh, whoops, if she still does that. But, uh, because I like weighted blankets myself. But, uh, yeah, anyways, I had her in here. I was watching some ID channel shows, and then I switched over to watching the new season of Brid Bridgerton. Bridgerton? <laughs> uh, I watched one episode of it. And then I told Devin, I was like, I gotta film, it's late in the day. I, I would love to put my videos out in the mornings. I used to do it all the time. I'd do them the day before. But now I just don't have the time. So I'll squeeze them in whenever I can. Um, but uh, like yesterday, I was supposed to do my March wrap up. That's why I had March on my brain yesterday, because I was prepping for that video. I had my March bands and my March bingo out. And was gonna record that after I recorded the video for the bags. And I, we didn't have time. We ended up leaving. Where did we go yesterday? I can't remember. That wasn't the day that we went on the hike. I can't remember what we did yesterday. Oh my god, my brain is like... <laughs> we left the house. Where did we go? I can't remember. It must not have been important. But I have my March bingo. <laughs> I printed it on the back of my... This is February, so this is March. Because it printed sideways, and I thought that was weird. But whatever. And then I actually have ball bands for March. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's more than February. But, and I already got one for April, my glow worm, because I finished that ball today. But I will film this video probably Thursday, because that's an empty day. Uh, Planning-wise, I don't have a video planned for that day. So it will be coming up. And my February ball bands, oh, I moved them. They weren't here. I think I had three. But, um, I never did film a February wrap-up because, you know, it was the first month that I had June, and things were just hectic. So, I'm gonna get caught back up with March, and we're gonna hopefully go from there. <laughs> but, also, reminder, my giveaway for two winners for the spring, um, giveaway ends this coming Sunday, which is the 10th. And then I will draw the winner probably later that night, or early, um, the 11th. So, I can announce it and hopefully hear back from whoever won quickly so I can get it in the mail, 
um, so you guys can get it for before Easter, which is the Sunday after that, the 17th. But, um, yeah, I guess that's about it. <laughs> I am working right now. I'm planning Jesse's birthday. We never do anything crazy big, but we do have, like, a little family party. His birthday is May 1st, so we're probably going to have it on the 30th of April, which is a Saturday. Because my brother works on Sundays, and he want, you know, I want him to be able to come. I don't think he got to come last year. No, he did. He, he came late because of work. <laughs> but um, he told me today what he all wanted for his birthday, so I made a list of everything he said, which is mostly video games. Um, and I sent it to my family so they know all he asked for so far, which was I thought was so funny because it's like expensive stuff and then a really cheap item. But it was um, Minecraft money, like one of those gift cards with Minecraft money on it. So he can put Minecraft money on his Switch or Xbox because he has them both and buy whatever. <laughs> he asked for the new Kirby game on Switch, the new uh, Super Smash Brothers game on Switch, and one other Switch game. Oh, Zelda. The newest Zelda game on Switch. And then he asked for a camera, a kid camera, which he already, the, the one at Walmart that he showed me he wants is like around $40. It's a kid's camera. Um, and then he asked for, the cheap thing was a ball. Like one of those plastic balls they sell at Walmart for like $2. Because he used to have one and it popped or something. It, sh it got, sh you know, it started shrinking. And um, he wants another one of those. I thought that was so funny. He had that list of like more expensive things and then a ball. <laughs> but, um, and I asked him what kind of cake he wants. So I was looking at cakes. I'm probably just going to order him one again. I used to make his cakes handmade and it's just too much now. <laughs> uh, last year we bought him a store bought cake and this year we'll probably do it too just to make things easier. <laughs> but, um, We'll have his little birthday party, probably at my mom's because she has a nice yard. Um, and it'll just be, you know, my siblings and their kid, their kid, <laughs> my sister's son, uh, my mom and her husband, Devin's dad and his wife, and maybe um, the girl who's babysit, <laughs> who just got adopted by Devin's dad and his wife. So she's my niece, I guess now, officially. <laughs> um and that's probably it, unless someone else just randomly shows up. <laughs> but, yeah, so that'll be our shindig. We'll probably not do anything major for my birthday at all, because, um, finances. <laughs> and, uh, my birthday is right after Jesse's, so I'll be using extra money for all his stuff, of course. Because we'll be getting pizza and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah. And then Mother's Day is the day after my birthday, which is cool. That's the same way it was in the year Jesse was born, 2016. Because I had him on the 1st, which was a Sunday. And then that next Saturday was my birthday and we came home from the hospital on Friday the 6th because Jesse was sick and had to take antibiotics um so we came home on the 6th my birthday was 7th and then Mother's Day was 8th <laughs> and uh because I was super stressed out I was like beyond stressed out from being in the hospital for a week instead of like one day um that's why I was so nervous about June's birth but it, worked, it went way better than Jesse's <laughs> but uh yeah, I'm blabbing now. But I know a lot of y'all like it when I blab. And I haven't had like a sit down vlog. I did that one vlog the other day. But I only talked a little bit in it. It's mostly just clips. And I want to start vlogging more. I thought about doing Veda. But I think it's still too early. With June. So I think um, I'll for sure do Vlogist. Because I love doing Vlogist. Vlogtober for sure. And Vlogmas. Most definitely. <laughs> because Christmas is my most favorite time of the year. And also I'm doing a swap with Doris from Rose Cottage Studio. Um, for Christmas. Which is going to be so fun. And, um, I don't know what else I'm going to plan for Vlogmas. It's coming up, you know. I know it's, like, a really long time away, but Christmas is on my mind 24-7. And I love Vlogtober, too, because I love Halloween. And this year we get to take June, and she's going to be almost, well, let's see here. She'll be nine months on Halloween, because she'll turn nine months on the 26th of October. So she'll be big enough to, like, eat a little bit of treats, and we can dress her up, and me and Devin will get candy, because people will give us candy for her, <laughs> and it's gonna be nice, but I'm, I'm looking forward to it, but yeah, so I guess that's everything, I can't think of anything else I need to tell y'all, I mentioned the giveaway, I showed everything, I blabbed a whole lot, <laughs> so I guess I'm gonna hop off here and get this edited up, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready to update my Etsy shop here in just a little bit, um, yeah, because I think it's three something right now. <laughs> but anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow for Watch Work on Wednesday. I'll probably start a new whip tonight or tomorrow. Because I like starting new whips for Watch Work on Wednesday. It's just fun. Usually it's little stuff like that hat. But I didn't expect this stinking collar to take all my life to finish. But it's so boring to work on. Because it's just double crochet back and forth. Back, and it's like a scarf. It just keeps going. It'd be nicer if I was a little skinny person. Because then I could make the small size shrug. And made a small collar, <laughs> but whatever. I'm, I'm a chunky monkey, and I'll probably stay that way forever. 
because every time I lose weight, I end up getting it back. So in my mind, I think that's the size I'm supposed to be <laughs> because I just keep going back to that size. But um, anyways, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to hop off here and get this stuff cleaned up and go get the baby again because um, Devin's got to leave for work here a little bit, which is sad. I wish he could be off work forever and still get paid. <laughs> but um, yeah, I wish he was like a computer person. And could work from home. <laughs> he should have done that. I keep telling him. I was like, you should have done that as your career. Because then you can just work from home. But, um, oh well. He does only work like four days a week. So it's not like the worst thing ever. <laughs> but I'm going to hop off here. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And yeah, don't forget the Etsy shop update. It's in a little, just a little while. And then uh, I already got bags cutting for the next update. And they're going to be different size zipper project bags. Um, because I'm using a bunch of scrap fabrics that I had from previous bags. Uh, so there's going to be like this size one, some that are wider and shorter and just all different sizes. <laughs> I'm just going to work with what I got and try to use it up because my fabric shelf is like stuffed full. So I need to get, like clean it out a little bit and then I can get more fabric. I will probably also buy some new fabric too because I, I don't have a ton of scraps. So I'm just going to make some scrap bags with um, different all different sizes. They're going to be zippers though with the handles on the side. I already decided that. So they're going to be quilted. And then um, I have a few of those little crab thingies. But they're little. The ones I normally use uh, are 4 inch ones. And the ones I have in there I have like um, 10 or 11 3 inch ones. So they're smaller. So I thought about making the bags smaller. To be like a notion bag like for stitch markers and needles and things like that um but i don't know if i'll do that i don't have the right interface thing for that i have to buy some but yeah anyways i'm gonna leave now because I'm, I'm most of this video is just me talking about random stuff but i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow and uh yeah all that bye bye guys mm -hmm.